Hello YouTube, this is Chris with a tutorial on Under the Sea, a side-scrolling survival, exploration, and crafting game. Uh, just got it on Steam, $6.99. $6.99 gets you the game in this current build. It does not get you a tutorial. So uh, I learned the hard way by playing this that um, all the things I'm going to teach you, there was a few videos on YouTube that I found. Uh, I'd like to make this one a little bit concise and to the point. So you start the game in the ocean on a raft. Ships in the background sinking. Uh, left and right are using the A and D keys. W jumps and S falls down like you're dead. I don't know what that's for yet. So uh, items are moved by picking them up with the left key and dragging while holding and uh, you'll find various tools that you need to put in your inventory and your inventory is at the top it's difficult to use and items do not stack well there is a upward facing arrow on the right hand under the inventory screen you want to click that with your left mouse button to make it stay open and you drag items to your inventory and you rotate them with the Q and E key you will find many items along the way it is best to pick them up and put them in your inventory as they will become useful later on in order to put items in your inventory they need to turn green as you can see here and they will stay there the screen or the sky backgrounds sometimes it's difficult to see whether or not uh, the item has turned green so you will drop it so try not to put things in your inventory where you're at the edge of a cliff where items can fall straight down and you will be hard pressed to find them in order to select a tool left click on it it will turn green and you may use it and to swing the axe you hit the left key and you damage the crate until it breaks you pick up items and drag them again turn green that is a uh, spearhead you will need this to attach to driftwood in order to make a spear for spear fishing uh, items such as wood like this can be used for firewood. You probably would be best to carry a few with you when you can and your inventory space allows it. Uh, items such as these are bandages, one use, and they will heal you if you take damage from a animal attack, if you take damage from a fall, and the like. If you notice my monotone-ness here, it is because this game is frustrating me as there are some definite playability issues that I have found that, for me personally, are aggravating. Uh, I spent a lot of time on this game just learning these small things that I am teaching you, and um, it was to the point where I was getting very frustrated and I was about to turn my back on this. So I am doing this in order to provide you with some sort of basis so that you uh, too do not get frustrated and throw your monitor at the wall like I almost did. Um, items such as a firecracker I have not found a valid use for other than killing me once so do be aware of that. In order to get to the build screen you hit the space key. It freezes time so you can hang things in the air. Items will turn green when they are connected and in order to break some items apart you hold down the shift key and you click left and drag. Occasionally it works and sometimes it does not so it will be up to you to figure out when you can or cannot do that. As these planks here are not coming apart. 
Uh, you will find many items in your travels, and it is best to pick up the ones that are, f you know, highlighted in a corona, such as the saw here. Very important. Take it when you can. Put it in your inventory. Also, these leaves are valuable in order to start a fire, so do take them when you find them. You will cut down trees by hitting them with an axe. They will fall apart. You then go into build mode. You move this into an area where it's easy to see. You click and drag the saw. You'll see a craft notation there. And you let go of the mouse button and it makes planks. You can also make planks smaller. So you, it is a good idea to do that when you can. And that's as far as they go. Okay, so put the saw back. Then I will take these planks and attempt to neatly organize them in my inventory. Also, when you're moving things around, they can get stuck on other objects. They can pick up your character. You can use them as an elevator if you fall very far, so uh, they are useful to have in your inventory as you will try to uh, sometimes find a way back to an area where you cannot jump to. Put as many as these as you can in your inventory for now because there's only a few trees in these early screens. To the left are uh, is the island and to the right is the ocean. You can go out. I've gone out four frames to the right and I've gone, you know, maybe a, a dozen and a half frames to the left. I, I have not reached the end yet, so I'm not sure how far it really goes. And I just want to grab these items as I can and we will move on there is uh, I've noticed that there are duplicates of tools and as I said if you drop one into a deep gorge you uh, are out of luck if you didn't grab or if you uh, already dropped one and as you can see I just picked myself up and threw myself into the roof of the cave here and caused myself damage. I sprained my foot. Pay attention to these states on the on the bottom right because uh, you can actually get sick from being cold and wet and uh, you will die. Right now the game actually restarts. In the future I believe it is uh, as you can see, I'm walking very slow because my foot hurts. I believe that you will spawn at the next, uh, at the closest fire. This is a flint rock, and take that because that's how you start fires. And I'm going to go uh, a little bit further here into this cave where you will find a bucket, and you will use this in order to. Uh, drink, get water. So there's a waterfall here. You drag the bucket over, the bucket will fill. You can drink the water and then carry the bucket in your inventory. And the bucket contains fresh water, so it does hold its state in the inventory. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, there is fish here. I have not had successful attempts at spearfishing as of yet so I will not be showing that but I will um, well, I might actually show it just how how it's done these yarrows here pick them up when you can see when you find them because they do act as bandages as well and bandages do become uh, necessary when you explore because of you know unforeseen circumstances and this is where the inventory aggravates the hell out of me because it is very sensitive. Okay. Now, 
I would like to get a tomato, which is over in this direction, which will provide me with some substance as I am getting hungry. And I will take this here as well, and it doesn't fit in the spot where it looks like it'll fit, so that is not fun. Actually, we will kill the chicken and drag that drag that into the inventory. When it's in your inventory, uh, I find it best to go to the build screen and then hold down the shift key and drag downwards. And as you can see, I have uh, some parts here, chicken head uh, and all sorts of stuff. So I think I can get something else from this. Nope, that is the end of this and it's just a pelt for now so I'm just gonna leave that in the inventory here uh, chicken carcass you can pull that apart further and you will have meat uh, as well as uh, guts I don't know if you can eat those but um, I would imagine you could make some kind of bindings out of them uh, at some point so I think that is, oh, I have the chicken head, I don't know what that would be used for, and it appears that is all I can take from this chicken, and it's possible that I could be wrong, I am just uh, trying to move through this as quickly as possible. Also, one thing to pay attention to is some animals are dangerous. So uh, in the next frame over here, there are actually crabs. They do bite you when you uh, pass by them. You should try to avoid them, kill them if possible, because they will uh, give you an open wound which gets infected and can kill you. I am going to build a building here. Um, as it is a good time to do so. I will make some planks and I will put them together here, drag my hammer over and craft and I will create a door. On this uh, right hand side these are planes. This checkered uh, board here is your uh, current plane. So uh, this door is actually in my way. However, since it's a door and it's in this plane, it will open and allow me to pass through. If I put this here in this plane, I will not be able to pass through it. If I put it in another plane, I will be able to pass through this area. So you will need to pay attention to that. I'll put the... I just need to make some more of these sticks here. And I will continue to build a small home. If I left build mode, these items would fall directly to the ground. And these, I did not want them to stick together because I can't seem to pull them apart. Okay. However, it's actually not a bad thing because I was able to make windows. I will put them aside for now. All right, so let's put a roof above. and a I'll make another door uh, that thing that just came up here was some kind of crash in the engine so I'm not sure what that did uh, what I did to have that happen I'll take this door here and 
also put it here. As you can see, the door is slightly angled, leading me to believe that um, these existing planes here do matter. And if I wanted to, if I wanted this to be more like a home, I can bring it to this one of these planes here. Hold on a sec. Uh, I'm not having the ability to access these right now. Uh, now I could put this on. I believe this would be the center, and then this here would be, as you can see it the top of the door jam and this outer leg this actually covers that so this would be uh, the facing closest to you or to the screen would be the outside and I can't unfortunately put anything on the other side so at this point I would be able to jump up through this um, this plane here because it's not in the checker plane. If I put these here, now I will not be able to jump through the roof. Alright, so I'm going to put some vertical pieces here. might have to close the build mode for a minute and let things settle down. As you can see, I can walk through. I cannot jump up. And we'll go back to build mode. Let, let us see if we can put anything here. Yes. Excellent. Uh, I have found that if you had a fire in here, it would actually make you warmer quicker with walls. So uh, definitely has a function. This one doesn't want to go there. Okay. Windows. I will put a window. I'm going to put it on this farthest plane here because it looks like it goes on top of the door jam. So we'll put here, and we will put one here. That is not working the way I wished it would. Uh, I don't see any reason why I can't use these as well. Uh, it's not as f economical, however, it does work. I'm not going to cover this whole thing because I still want to show a fire. So I will leave build mode and yes, because this window was not attached to anything in the plane, it fell. So let me go back in and see if I can grab the window, which I cannot. Okay, so I am going to move. Oh, wonderful. Move the window to. The actually, let me just put some structure here if I am allowed to. That stays there. I will also make more sticks. And again, I apologize for my matter of fact tutorial. I had th two videos corrupted. Uh, uh, two tutorial videos corrupted and I had, this is the third one and I spent way more time figuring all this stuff out than uh, I wanted to so I just want to get this uh, 
information out there as quickly as possible. I'm going to hang the windows off of these here. And hopefully they stay. Uh, the gravity doesn't seem to affect the construction at this point. I do believe it will eventually. So uh, I, in one video I actually built a house over a cliff and it was perfectly fine without support. So as of right now, it doesn't seem to affect construction. All right, I believe I am ready to let this go. All right, excellent. And I don't see the sticks. They are there. there. You can very faintly see them. Uh, these rocks will probably cause an issue. So I would like to remove them. Post haste. They are very heavy, and as you can see, they are tough to move. I cannot seem to get it out of here. It might be stuck in the the building here, and it appears to be stuck. So I will. <laughs> move them this way. Let's take out the grass so we can get a good visual. Alright, so I am now ready to build a fire. So let's just put this here and use the flint to set fire fire is now burning. Uh, you will see that I will get warm, I hope. Yes, there we go. I am starting to get warm. Do not stay in the fire too long. You will get hot and then you will get burned. Okay, so that sums up that. I will try to bandage my foot. Ah, yes, so now my sprained foot is not sprained anymore, and I am free to move at a rapid pace. Also, um, if you keep going left, you'll get a, a pickaxe, and what that allows you to do is um, break up rock. Um, blocks and yes there's a crab and as you see I have now an open wound which is not good so let's kill the crab nobody likes having crabs um, aloe vera that's interesting I haven't noticed that yet before I'm sure that is good for uh, treating burns this crab wants to fight I will take it to him, and he is now nothing to me. All right, so let's uh, let's keep this out. Of and of course, it, it it's green, so it makes it that much more difficult to put into the inventory, as you cannot tell whether it is green or not. I'm not going to waste too much time on this. I will point out there's a crab here, and he just bit me. Uh, items such oh, don't even bother with the uh, bee's nest. I can't imagine that's a good uh, idea. Here, these um, stone blocks, you hit them repeatedly, you break them, and you are able to get small rocks, and you can build a fireplace. That is a tomato. Uh, you can collect these. At some point, I believe, you are able to plant them in the ground, or plant seeds in the ground, and 
have a harvestable renewable resource. Also, rifle. You will want to go into build mode, take this ammo, reload, let the rifle fall, pick it up, put it in your inventory, and then you will be able to click it as a tool. So that is something you will want to do. The pickaxe I will grab, try to place it in my inventory, and yes, it is placed. Go back to these uh, stone rock blocks here. Uh, if you hit the Alt key, it'll actually bring up anything that's in the area. So uh, if you're ever in doubt, do that, and you can see what's actually there. All right, um, break the rocks repeatedly, and you will get items such as small rock. Put in inventory, continue. At times, they will disappear on you. You will have fun trying to gather them. Also, I did notice that areas such as this, if you take out all the blocks, you will fall through the ground and you have the potential to get stuck. Bear that in mind as you walk across them. And rocks are difficult to gather and difficult to put in your inventory and then find them once they fall. And uh, you see here my difficulties. It takes three small rocks to make a stone block. I am actually trying to highlight and click these, and as you can see, my character keeps looking up because I have not successfully clicked them. Uh, so three of these small rocks in order to make a stone block and three stone blocks to make a fireplace and uh, there are some other items that you can uh, make out of these. Also recipes are available here. Basic, very basic recipes, not all of them are included. Uh, as you can see, it takes a hammer, two stone blocks to make a chimney top, a hammer, three stone blocks to make a fireplace. continue to gather stones until I believe I have enough for what I'd like to show. My wound is infected. I would eventually pass out and, you know, start over again. So 
uh, do pay attention to that. And I am actually out of any kind of bandaging apparatus. So the next injury I sustain can be fatal. Okay, that should suffice. Right then, I was not paying attention. Uh, aloe doesn't seem to do anything, so. It's possible that I will actually die. However, I fully intend to complete my mission here. Drag the rocks together. Craft. Grab the rocks together. Craft. Also, try to keep away from any sticks that you are building because your hammer will inadvertently um, compile sticks into windows. So it is a pain in the ass at times. Here I have made a stove or fireplace, however you like to call it. I am going to make a chimney as well. Right then, you can drag this to this. It should be connected. It is. Excellent. I'll take this out of here. I'll put this in here. And I will actually put this back in here. We now have a functioning chimney fireplace. And you'll go inside, and you will eventually become warm again, as you can see. All right, so that is basically the, uh, well, it's the basics to get food, water, shelter, and construction basics. I will go back to this area of water in order to show you uh, potentially how to fish. I have made a dock. I will now assemble a spear and it will not work. You will not be able to select it unless you assemble the spear uh, precisely. So you will have to make sure that one, you can put it into your inventory as such, and two, you will click it to select it. Now in order to kill a fish uh, there is a grub somewhere in this area, which I can go over here and find just as easy. It is somewhere in this area. Uh, I think it's right here. No. Perhaps not. Generally, there is a worm or a grub in this area that you can use to bait the fish. However, I am not finding it. Uh, nope, that's not it. Not it. Not it. There it is. I will put you can actually eat it as well. So all right those fall. Go back into my 
docking area, put grub Somehow select the grub. There we go. I will put it in the water to bait the fish. And you double click the fish to throw the spear. It is not a precise science. And for some odd reason, I might have put this. Yes. Design flaw. The spear is actually backwards. Shift to pull away the spearhead. Turn, reinsert, let fall, pick up, put into inventory, select, and attempt to spearfish. Again, it is not working, but that is the gist of it. <laughs> All right, we will attempt one more time. However, you do understand how it works. Momentarily. All right, let's just try this. Uh, now my, aha, that was a better angle, and it flew slightly better. Again, we will take a look, and we were able to spear something. All right. Yes, we have a fish. Go into build mode. I find that putting it in your inventory is the key. Hold shift, drag down. We have a fish part, hold, drag down. We have meat, hold, drag down. We have a head. And that is the end of the fish. Put meat into inventory or eat directly. Hungry, dead worm. Hmm, interesting. A worm can be hungry and dead at the same time. I will attempt again to further my fishing career. Let's move this out here. And yes, I was able to do nothing with that throw. Again, let's try. All right, but you do get the idea. I would take this worm and put it back in your inventory anyway, just uh, just to have. So, uh, food items might actually spoil in your inventory. I do not. I do not know. Um, so that is something to be aware of. That is basically it. So hopefully you find enjoyment in the game. Also, you can put these in your inventory to act as a source of light. Although that one did not stay in my inventory. It is possible I've done it before. Yes, that is in my inventory now. You can also carry fire around in your inventory if you need to. It does not appear to go out. I have heard that under uh, underwater, after a short time, it will actually go out. So be uh, pay attention to that. So now I'm going to back here. Warm up. It rains an awful lot, so uh, that is annoying because you will get a cold and you will die. So, uh, alright, just uh, take a look at my impressions video uh, of this game on my YouTube, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, any suggestions, or if there's any other games you'd like to see, or um, 
any other things in this game that you would like to um, see me do, I'd be happy to do it. All right. Well, thank you, and good night.